Hi there, Michaela. All right, let's go ahead and take a look. I've got your composition up right here. And let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, so first composition requires us to um, establish all hierarchy based on grouping, no contrast in size or weight. Excellent job. Now what you've done here is you are creating uh, groups, but right now you've, I'm seeing three distinct groups. I'm seeing this as one group. I'm seeing this as one group. Why is that not working? I don't know. That, that's weird. This is one group. And then this space here indicates a third group right here. My recommendation here is to make sure that the, the, the letting, the space between lines here, 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 and here is all equal, and that this space here is greater. Um, um, that's going to create two groups emphasizing the title or the, the subject as first position in hierarchy. You may even consider bringing that over and left aligning. Second composition, we're looking for one new size, one new weight. There's your new size, there's your new weight. Good job. You're actually adding weight here too. So put set these in this typeface right here. And then think about alignment again. You've got this, then you kind of go over here, then you kind of go back over here. My recommendation would be to take this and align it right here. Okay. Um, now in the third composition, we have multiple contrasts in weight and scale, and you got it here, definitely. And this is this is looking fantastic. I think this is a good good layout here, definitely. Um, yeah, it works. You're showing excellent understanding of what we're we're looking for this week. Now, fourth composition is a little problematic for a couple of reasons. Okay, your number one, you're mixing alignments. So, so this is left aligned, but this is center aligned. I would left align these right there. Okay, the other thing is I, I do not recommend placing type over the car. Um, it just, it's too cluttered right there. And finally, so find another place to, to place your title. And, and the other thing is that the car itself needs to be cropped from the background. It, right now it's not. You need to crop that background at that gray background. So the, this composition has the same white background as the other three. Um, but other than that, I think you're, you're showing really wonderful stuff here, good stuff. Now, a couple of things I want to recommend is to go to the course announcements. If you haven't already done so, make sure you go through, spend a lot of time in Welcome to Week 3 course announcement. There's six videos and a ton of resources in here. I can guarantee you, I can guarantee you, spend some time in this announcement and you're going to come out with a fantastic understanding of both hierarchy and how to use the grid. Now, this example right here is outstanding. It's an outstanding step-by-step, -step, blow by blow with examples how to create hierarchy based on grouping, um, and emphasis, and those emphasis are based on contrast of weight and scale. All right, and then additionally, one final tip is I, I, I really want you to take a look at page 101 in the textbook, spend some time on that as well. Um, this is an exact duplication of this assignment. It's that subject matter is a little bit different. Nonetheless, there's nine examples here. Each one is, 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 is described in depth as how to create emphasis based on proximity, grouping, um, and scale changes, emphasis, as it were, right? So definitely page 101, the announcements, my comments here, apply these, these recommendations to your final submission coming up Sunday. And of course, if you have any questions at all, please let me know. All right, fantastic start. Thank you very much.